Hello, I'm Igor and welcome back to my tech fan. Have you ever heard about the pin support challenge? Well, I didn't until maybe two weeks ago and it looks like we have a new trend because uh, if you want to test out the printer, usually we can print a Benchy or Torture Toaster, but uh, these are quite long prints. And now we have this uh, pin support challenge. This is only 12 minutes printing. Of course, we don't have uh, so many informations about our printer like with the Benchy or Torture Toaster but uh, it's uh, fun and not only fun but uh, we can learn a few things it is important to understand that this is not str5 but generated g-code by fullcontrol.xyz website and there is our pin support challenge there are two versions uh, the sphere is the hardest one and i will not change anything else here printer parameters uh, well for every printer i use this one only for prusa i use uh, this g-code now let's analyze the printing. So it will start with this small spiral. This is very small contact surface with the bed. That's why we need great uh, bed adhesion. And then it will constantly move up with a very high flow rate. And that's why we need very accurate uh, E-steps and very constant flow rate here. And then this sphere will be printed in a spiral or raise mode. And basically it will start with a 90 degree overhang. And for this we need a very good uh, part cooling. And I want to test this small challenge with the uh, six different CD printers. Don't forget, generated GCO don't have any information about your printer size, for example. So that's the minimum that you have to check this G code. For example, load it in your slicer. And this is in a cura, not too accurate preview, but at least I can see that it will fit to the print size. For example, Riskius was this FL Sun because here the origin is in the center. And now I can see that uh, printing will fit on this uh, part of the print surface. Zafir Plus, which is Colex YC the printer, but what is more important, it has the bottom side extruder with very long Teflon tube and it has the cooling from two sides. It starts with this uh, spiral line, which is the base for the contact with the bed. And then it starts with this uh, vertical line and I can see some difference in diameter. So this means that the extrusion is not really constant and maybe that uh, was the reason for this uh, inaccurate printing. First I thought that is the part cooling fan but uh, it could be the extrusion problem. Interesting situation we have here. The part cooling is from two sides with two fans, but unfortunately this fan shroud is a little bit too far from the nozzle and their direction is not so perfect. And this resulted this uglier surface on the left side. As you can see on this side it is perfect, but on opposite side it is quite ugly. Very hard start for the, of the orange hang and probably that's the reason why here we don't have that nice uh, connection between layers. And now I'm on my workplace because here I have NS3 V2 which still have that uh, stock bottom style extruder. And I can see some changes in diameter so this means the flow rate is not really constant. And definitely I can see problems in the part cooling that's why this very is so deformated. And definitely that uh, very big overhang is problematic on this fair. Now using the same G-code on FL sign is a little bit risky because the origin is in the center and I hope this space is enough for this experiment. And here I want to mention that actually I replaced the extruder. So here I have that OMG V2 extruder which gives me much more constant flow rate compared to the stock, I don't know, Bontech clone or something like that. And basically this sphere looks great from the beginning until the end. And here you can see absolutely no problems, maybe on the top that small spot, but it, it started this perfect overhang almost from the beginning. And here they are side by side. This is Sowell XV06, another bed slinger CD printer, but with direct drive extruder and the part cooling uh, fan shroud is from two sides, from the front and from the left. This is so-called uh, planetary gear extruder with very big uh, ratio and this gives very nice constant result and perfect overhand almost from the start. Unfortunately with these bed slingers the timeless is not really perfect, the picture is too shaky. 
And notice one more thing, the diameter of this vertical line is much more constant. Maybe coincident that, but this may be the result of the very constant flow rate thanks to this good uh, direct drive extruder. Uh, we will see because I want to test this with uh, another direct drive CD printer. Well, this is almost perfect printing. It struggled a little bit with the starting of this fur, almost 90 degree overhang, especially on that side uh, where it doesn't have that uh, part coding from the right back side and same on the top of the sphere. Plus a Mark III S which also has the direct drive extruder and the part cooling is mostly from the front side. And looks like I will have the first failed print because the object removed from the bed. I used some glue stick on the surface and I lower a little bit the live Z, this will give me better adhesion to the bed. Probably lowering live Z would be enough because previously I printed with textured PI sheet with a different Z offset. It started with the bubbling to a side so this will not be the nice printing on the top of this fur. I will just mark the front side. Well, probably I shouldn't use the glue stick, maybe just lowering the Z would be enough. Another great printing and this is the front side and I thought that there would be a problem on the back side but visually I cannot see too big difference see, on the front or on the back side of this sphere. This is the bottom part and this is the top of the sphere except the center it is basically perfect. And one bonus print this is Ender 3 S1 and I want to print something with this everyone's dual color filament. Originally I wanted to test 5 printers, that's why this one is the bonus one. Another great printing, very nice uh, constant flow rate. And the uh, bottom surface, uh, only this is the back side. Uh, it's a little bit uglier because this is extremely very high, very big overhang, but otherwise this uh, surface looks great and even the top of the surface is better compared to the Prusa version. And here they are one more time, this is the Zafir Plus, this one is printed on Ender 3 V2 and this is on FS Sun Super Racer, this is the best one and this one is printed on Sovol SV06, on Prusa Mark 3 S and this on Ender 3 S1. And here they are side by side and the orientation is the uh, ugliest side facing to us. And again, uh, analyzing the bottom surface, so these three are printed with the bottom style extruders, and these three with direct drive extruders. And it looks like the direct drive extruder is more important than the part cooling. So according to my test, uh, what do we need to success in this pin support challenge? Well, first of all, we need uh, decent bed adhesion. And then uh, correctly set E-steps, means uh, correct uh, and very constant uh, flow rate. And of course, uh, I think the most important is uh, very good uh, part cooling. If possible, from more sides and not only one. If you decide to try this uh, challenge, uh, maybe you can uh, create a picture from the site and uh, I will create a post on my Facebook page and there you can uh, place a comment with the picture and uh, on what printer was that printed. I'm very curious because uh, I noticed that it looks like that the direct extruders are better, gives more constant flow rate compared to the Bowden style extruders. And uh, if it is not stock CD printer, then write some additional information what is upgraded or something like that. Well, I'm not a scientific video, but I think it was fun, at least for me. Um, thank you for watching and happy printing!